great thing about Ferraris is there are always two ways to look at them. You've got to just stand back and take in the overall car and admire it. But perhaps even better with Ferraris is just to get close. I love going to look at the detailing of the cars. So you just look at these little wing mirrors. They're not just styled. They are shaped aerodynamically to feed the air through the centre, flow the air back for the air intakes. And the engine itself is right down in here. The most amazing thing about this is a V8 engine, 4.3 litres. This now produces 490 horsepower. Now that is more than the Ferrari F40 supercar. It takes so long. They're all supposed to be quicker, but they still take long. When you want to get going, ah, must be finished. So it must be time to... <laughs> and also adapts the gear change time, the suspension settings, as well as increasing or decreasing traction control. It's got five settings. You can start right down in snowy conditions. It's then got rain, sport, race, and then totally switched off. So I think we'll start in the normal drive setting of sport. Second gear, turn, full throttle. And it just won't go anywhere. That was wide open. Corner again, again we turn in, floor the throttle, and oh! But then, that was amazing! At first, the back went out, it allowed me to put the opposite lock on the control end, but then at the moment it would have spun on full throttle, then the traction control came in and helped me out. That's a pretty impressive system. Impressive though that is, the full track experience. It's just gotta go off. We'll give the back out, get the front in, then punch the throttle. But now I have to do all the car control. It's amazing to see this is a car that can do nearly 200 miles an hour. It's got 490 horsepower, but it can still be driven like an everyday sports saloon. But I don't really want to drive it like that. 